You guys have made a lot of headlines over the last 48 to 72 hours. What has the last 72 hours been like for you? It's been awesome. I mean, um, any time you can have ownership sign off, first off, on a deal of Eric Berry's magnitude, and to think that you sat in the office for 10 hours with your team, and then Eric's team of Chad Speck and those guys, and we sat down, and, and sometimes when you do face-to-face -face negotiations, things get accomplished. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you know what? Eric Berry, very special man, will be a chief for a very long time. Hi, guys. It's always a pleasure to be here at the Combine. It's kind of I know you've been working on your draft board for the last couple of weeks. That's been your process for the last few years. Can you just tell us where you're at in the process of building that board and about how many players you currently have on it? We're in phase one. Okay. we still got a couple more phases, BJ. Okay. How do I have on the board? Just remember this. The guys I have on the board today, mm. probably it'll change a little bit until it comes time to the draft. Okay. So, Because there's a lot of variables and factors involved here. We haven't really had a chance to meet all of the players here. We haven't got a chance to watch them compete and work with their peers. We haven't gone out to the pro days yet. We haven't had the chance to bring certain players into the building to see if, if we like those. So really, this is just the initial phase of the process. It's a very fluid situation. It will continue to move up until about you know a week before the draft, so to speak. But right now, I couldn't give you an accurate number that's on the board. We've all said each draft class is completely different. Um, there are certain depths at certain positions, if you want me to identify a few of them. I know earlier you spoke about the depth in this draft. You believe it's wide receiver, running back, and cornerback. I know that there's a lot of attention in every draft given to the quarterbacks. Uh, what do you see in this particular quarterback class? I see, I see a lot of spread option quarterbacks in this class. I see a lot of athletic guys in this class. Uh, I see a lot of guys that, you know, I have a little work to do. Um, that does not make them not that talented. I mean, there's some talented players in, the, in, this, in this draft class, but you know, there are some mechanics and, and some flaws that they're going to have to work through to, to translate that into the pro game. Over the last couple of years, you guys have drafted an all-pro in each year. You have 6,000 snaps played by the last two draft classes. Just what's been the secret to you and your staff getting guys who can contribute so early in their careers? Well, I think, you know, listen, not all one, you know, one person doesn't have all the answers. It's a group mindset effort. It's everybody understanding the task at hand, understanding how we do things the Kansas City Chiefs way. I think we have a very good personnel staff in place. I think they're, they're as good as anybody in the National Football League. Uh, they're very committed, they're very passionate, and they love the process, and they're proud to be members of the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're gonna work like the Dickens find good players.